Hello, hello, and welcome back to Soulstrom LP. I am once again your game operator and narrator, Soul. Here to play a little bit more Phantom Brigade. Uh, three mech challenge. So, last time we left off, we had just finished off the uh, tutorial. Now, we're going right on ahead. Start moving towards our first area of interest, which is Felheim. So, a new beginning. It's time to take back our country. We should start with the mountain base, the last outpost that belonged to the Phantom Brigade. We should still have, still have some spare supplies and parts that help us get back on our feet. To where I'm going. All right, time to reclaim the base. Once a mining facility, the Felheim base was later retrofitted as an emergency mech storage depot built to support the forces of the homeland should they need them. When the invasion began, the country was overrun too quickly for him to utilize it. This abandoned place could serve us well if we managed to dispatch the enemy forces guarding it. People of this province become more hopeful when the brigade defeats invaders, so capturing Felheim will mean hope rises here. With enough hope, the region is liberated. More information about the province's hope level can be found under its name. Let's suit up and get out there. All right, we're ready to deploy. Don't really have much for parts. All right. Bravo One, we're seeing two mechs approach from the west, requesting immediate support. Oh, okay, whatever. I read that anyhow. Maybe take might think about the place that's falling apart in these elevators. Are taking their sweet time, so we got a little bit of time here to go ahead, get some things done. So what do we got here? Shotgun. Move you up, I think. Here for now. We do start taking fire at this point, so. We'll drop a shield to protect ourselves. And our assault rifle friend. Get over in this location. And that'll be the turn. Oh! Ho, 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 in case you missed it, my infinite wisdom, I actually ran my mechs into each other. And I didn't see any warning on the timeline about it. All right. Let's uh, reassess. Oh, wow. That was impressive. Impressively terrible. Impressively terrible. Oh, my God. I can't believe I did that. It wasn't even for a little bit of damage either. That was that was absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Oh, we're off to a good start. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm too busy laughing. <laughs> oh man. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. I'll wait this one out. And then we'll give you a little bit of the good news. Can't believe I did that. Yeah, it was impressive. You're still st still struggling to get back up on your feet. That's hilarious. Okay, so yeah, no, we'll get rid of that move order. Move there. Start bringing you across. Actually, you know what? We're going to get crossfire on that one. How far up can I get? Here. And we'll open up on him there. All right. Oh, 
Don't worry, everybody. I is professional. Profit as gooder. What is our... Our heat's going to be a little bit much, so we'll drop that down to right around there. Wait till the attack's done. I think. Start circling around behind him. We get one more. One more attack off. For the end of the turn. Heat's still good. You're still attacking. Maybe we'll get you to fall back over here. the soats. That'll be good. One tank down. Second tank, still good to go. All right. We got our other friend here starting to circle back around. What we'll do, fall back. Start opening up there. Actually, if we cut across the building here. Nah. Hmm. We'll open up on him when he opens up on us. Hmm. Maybe we'll wait this one out a little bit. We'll stay in cover. You... in this general direction. Our heat's going to be pretty high there. Uh, we're better off shielding. And then wait this one out. And give them both barrels afterwards. Now we don't have enough. Alright. That tank's still up and running. Be good for cover there. This up right around there. We'll be on the very edge of his range. Just keep on running. Turn around to that side. 
you. Yes, attack, please. shield. Shield through that. That should be the end of that one. Alright, all that's left is the enemy mech. Still looking pretty good for health, so. Yeah, we'll carry on with that one. Force you up into that location there. And hit him with both barrels there. Move you over and have you wait just a little bit until he's I'm going the wrong way. Yes, we're not going to do this again. That location. Call that our attack move. He's going to be crashing for a long time. Still attacking, we'll probably pop our shield up. That's about right. Drag this further back in the timeline here. Our heat's still good. And you will just open fire from where you're standing. Probably be enough to finish him off. There we go. Job done. All hostiles eliminated, so it's under our control now. Alright, so now we get to choose what we want to take for scrap. We got 70 supplies, shard shotgun. And an AR-01 Astra Assault Rifle. That we get for free. The rest of this... Comes off the mech we uh, took apart. And as we can see, everything here is damaged. So if we try and take it for salvage... It's uh, significantly... It costs significantly more of our salvage budget to, to pick up. So... We're probably just going to wind up scrapping everything here. Get ourselves some more supplies. We'll call this good. So this just isn't, a, isn't just a handy base where you can recruit pilots and build smoke screens. You can also use the mountain base as your fallback outpost when necessary. If you lose all of your units and pilots at any point, you can fall back to this base and rebuild. The treating gives a new squad fitted with essential equipment at the same level as the highest level of province you control. Now that the Felheim has been liberated, you should start making your way to the capital while liberating as many provinces as you can. All right, so go ahead and build one smoke screen. And we'll give it some, everything some time here to get repaired. And 
And actually, we're going to have a look at the workshop. How close are we to a mech frame? We are still a fair bit off. Whoops. So we'll worry about that next time. Ooh, what's this? Station patrol. Before we do anything, we're going to go back to and have a look at our units. Turn the music down just a little bit. And we'll see what we can do for outfitting some of them. With some of our newer parts. Our new AR-01 does a little bit more damage. Better shot, so we'll go ahead and equip that one. And our shotgun and shield. Eh, faster action on these shotguns. I think we'll... Mm, yeah, we'll swap the shotgun. And we'll get right back at her. Onto the patrol. And a reserve camp as well. Alright, let's suit up and get out there. Alright, so what do we got? We got one mech and a tank. Put you right up there. The shield in place. Right there. We'll wait out the attack. And then we'll start giving him the good news there as well while moving down off the hill. Our salt friend. We're going to totally use our shield friend as a little bit of a, well, shield. That attack is done. We're going to start moving around. In this direction. And focus down this tank as well. Start working our way up in this general direction. Eh, some shots got by. the shield for the tank till right around here. So we'll start moving backwards a bit. And then We're going to have to keep moving or else he's going to hit us. Our salt friend. Open up on him there. I'm going to put some distance between us and him. And we'll see if we can't get up on top and hit this tank. 
Come on. He's still good. All right. A shotgun friend back here. Keeps moving that general direction. I'm going to push that attack into the next turn so that way we don't overheat. Let's get Virgo. Oh, did we get the mech? We did. Nice. I'm going to move on up and focus down this tank. There we go. You, sir. Fall back a little bit more. Some high ground. Just outside his range. And still within mine. I'm going to call that a move. And tank down. Nice. Victory is mine. So we got no reward or stored items. So we're going to have to choose wisely. We got us a body. Oh, no, we did get uh, the upper... Nice, we got an entire set of mech parts with no frame, so we have to build a frame at some point. And this upper here is a level... Core standard. Core standard, okay, so this, this is about the same. The shield, however, does have a barrier on it, and that's what we want to start looking looking out for. Barrier regenerates every every turn. So while it will have probably about 150 less integrity points than our current shield, it has 125 regenerating barrier points. We will most certainly take that. The shotgun is extremely nice, extremely powerful. Compared to our current one, I think it has 32 damage on it. This one is 55. Uh, unfortunately, it's taken a fair bit of our points. But I think I could probably scrap the rest of that for additional salvage. And I'll be happy with that. We'll let some time pass while we do some repairs. All right. So what do I got right now? I still don't have enough supplies for a frame. Inventory, what do we got? We have our upper shield, shotgun, our old assault rifle, another shotgun. And that's all we got right now. So, we'll have a look at some of our units. Nope, not on our assault friend. Our sword and board guy will get the shotgun. The seven shots, fifty-five damage. The shotgun's kind of uh, kind of pretty good, so we'll take that. And our shield. Again, current shield has four hundred integrity and zero barrier. This one has two hundred fifty integrity, but has one hundred twenty-five regenerating barrier. So we'll go ahead and slap that on. And I think that's all we really need right now. We'll carry on to the next town. Reserve camp. Hi. Get in there, please. Thank you. 
So military structures are usually more challenging than roaming squads or occupied settlements and facilities. However, they also store better loot and have units with higher quality gear. You can inspect units on the battlefield and check their equipment. Being careful can pay off if you're after a particular gear. The direction from which you attack a target changes the likelihood of destroying a part. For instance, attacking from behind is more likely to damage the legs. Something important to keep in mind. Let's suit on up. All right, quick deployment. Getting negative IVF code, we've got hostiles in range. Engage at will and reinforcements should be coming soon. So our current objective, eliminate all hostiles before reinforcements arrive and we expect reinforcements in two turns. So we'll have to deal with that accordingly. Where is everybody? They're way down here. All right, right off the bat, don't have to worry too much about the tank for now. We'll just move on up and get ourselves into position. I want you to come this way so you don't wind up slamming into our friend again. Keep drawing fire in that general direction. Range is not very good on a shotgun. We'll start putting some rounds down anyways. All right, let's go. All right, so. So we will carry on, so we'll start doubling back a little bit, get ourselves into position where we can open up on them. We will hold position while we are firing, and then we will flank back a little bit more into cover. And wait that out for that turn. Shotgun friend. The tank is going to be over here. We'll have a little bit of an avenue to shoot between the buildings, but I got full cover, so I'm not worried. What are you going to do? <coughs> oh, excuse me. And I'll let him come into our range. Can I fire immediately again afterwards? There is very little heat generation with a shotgun. I like it. We'll wait our turn out on this one. All right. All right, Sierra 2 on the field. What's taking you so long? Surround them and finish them off. All right. We just bro uh, broke this mech's barrier. We'll have to start planning for direct damage now. Falling behind cover over there. So we'll sprint our assault friend over in this general direction. Start tagging this tank. Our shotgun friend. You're going to hold. Hey, that doesn't happen till later. So heat's going to be a little bit of a problem. Ooh. And I will take damage. All right. We're going to fall back a little bit more over here. Open up on them that way. We'll stand here and take it. We can take it. Wait out our attack. 
or not. That's going to wind up with me connecting that tank. So we'll back up a little bit more. And tag the other mech as he's coming around the corner. Here we go. All right, Commander, the base is circled around the perimeter. We're ready to pick up a squad if needed. The enemy will hold the site if you do so. So if we fall back, the enemy holds the site. Well, we ain't going to fall back. You, what are you doing? You are currently attacking right now, aren't you? We'll get the shield up. Immediately. We'll wait. We're still in good cover. Then we'll finish off that tank. And we'll move a little bit further this dire uh, general direction afterwards. So we'll wait until our attack is complete. I might need the shield again for this end. All right. We're going to have a little bit more, a little bit of an overheat issue towards the end of our attack. So we'll wait. One out. Oh, come on. And then we're going to start moving. I'm going to go that way. I'm going to go that way or else I'm going to take the full brunt of it. Take a few rounds to the back. We also snipe in our attack somewhere right here. All right. Oops, missed that one. We've taken 121 damage. Our right arm, so that's our weapon arm, is about to fall. Not cool. That tank is busy crashing. So what we're going to do, we're going to move up a little bit in this general direction. Finish this tank off. Start hoofing it back down in this general direction. To engage that mech over there. We're going to open up immediately on him. Regardless of the heat. Oh, no, 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 no. Can't be taking that much heat damage. And keep on pushing. Hopefully right arm doesn't take it. it does well to switch. Just in case, we'll switch to secondary attack anyways. Right there. That tank is down. There goes my right arm. That's a little rough. Move up with our shield. It'll block the damage there. Wait till the shield is done, or the attack is done. Then we'll start moving with them. You know what? That weight is not going to help us. There we go. And we'll just follow pace. Keep him in range. 
all the way around. So our right arm is gone. Keep up the secondary attack. Start dancing around him. Oh, that's the edge of the map. We can't do that. We're dancing this way. Then we'll run back into the city. He's still good. He's still good. I was going to say, oh crap, I think we lost a mech. And we haven't lost a mech yet, but we have lost an arm. Hmm. If I were to come back out and engage, where would I be? Well, no one's shooting at me yet. If I were to wait until that attack opens up. Start bobbing back again. I wonder if I can force Shotgun Boy up here. Open up on him there. I should follow him all the way around. And we'll see where that lands us. Oop. Oh, managed to tag his, his weapon arm. Perfect. So he is out of the fight. And this guy here is going to be doubling back around. Which is exactly what I'm going to do with my guy. Bring right out here. And open up on him there. Bring our assault friend. Running on down here. Open up with the secondary. Right of that location. Shield up immediately. And then pop him again right here. We'll follow through with our other mech. How far do I have to push this? All right. That's as far as we can get on the heat level we got. And there we go. Victory is mine. Alright, so what do we get for free parts? We got a Nox, medium arm, two of them, and a lower and an upper. This is all... All brand new medium stuff. I do believe one of my mechs is going to be it. It's a nice little swap. I can pull a brand new Sleepner. Which is... Is that my mech? Why do I have to salvage my mech? My mech didn't get destroyed. Oh, but if I wanted to pick up my arm and the assault rifle, you know, I could probably do it without the arm. But I will take that assault rifle. I'm going to swap all the parts out for the, uh, the Nox parts here anyways. And I already know I have enough. 
for a separate mech. That's 50. What's this one? That's 52. Yeah, that spark handgun has been damaged, so we're not going to do that. We're going to worry about that. We'll look at getting some supplies, maybe? That don't work. No, that don't work either. What are you? Nope. You're still 10 points as well, so I'll miss out on 5 points. But I'll get some additional salvage, so that's not too bad. Let's do our repairs. Alright, so we have opened up the workshop. You've gained enough supplies to build a new mech frame. You can build in the workshop that is located on the mobile base. Consider always having some spare mech frames and pilots on standby in case you don't have time to repair or lose mechs during combat. I turned this down. Yes, freedom. Perfect. Um, you have successfully liberated the province and the people rejoice. The relief is palpable. One of your pilots wanders over to you and as you watch the people dance to the streets. I know there's a lot more to do, she says. But shouldn't we celebrate the small victories? She and some of your other pilots would like to celebrate with the people. So you know what? We're going to go ahead and join the parade and knock 50 fatigue off our people. There we go. Perfect. Let's set up the workshop. Guess another frame. And that'll be three of our maximum total of three mechs we can have. Meantime, let's go back to have a look at our units. So this mech currently has got nothing for a right arm. Which is understandable. What we're going to do is we're going to swap all the parts out for the Nox gear anyways. Perfect. And there we go. I'm going to do some live relay as well. We're going to put this on all parts. We're going to make you City B. All right. So where do we want to go now? Well, let's start poking into the next province and seeing what's there. We have a... Ooh, oh, 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 oh. We have a broken down army convoy and a reinforced camp. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Seems like an option for next time. Once again, thank you very much for checking out Soulstrom LP. I'm your game operator and narrator, Soul. Hope you enjoyed your stay here. Uh... If you can, please remember to follow, like, and subscribe. All the, all those fun things. Uh, those will help both my channel grow on YouTube and on Twitch as well. I appreciate you coming out. Have yourself a good one.